everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be using my madam glam gel polishes and some nail sugar decals to create a gorgeous dream catcher set i've got these beautiful colors um i think it was groupy all the way up and perfect white and then these are the new nail sugar premium decals i love these so much they're so good i love the packaging and everything karen has done an amazing job once again so we're going to be using these today and i'm going to be doing them on tips obs because i've got them there so the the decals show up night better on on white so i'm going to put them on a white background they're more clear and visible on a white background i think that makes sense so i'm using madame glam's perfect white each coat of color needs a 30 second cure in an led lamp um, you can get 30% off any Madame Glam gel polishes using or anything else they sell using my code NATMUG30. Um, if you become a Madame Glam VIP, you can get 50% off all the time. It's well worth it. Do go and check it out on their website. Then I am cutting out the image that I want to use. So I try and get as close to the image as possible. You don't want loads of like excess, like, excess paper it's not i don't know it's not even paper and then i learned this on my live oh my god so you put this you put the image on a stamper i've got a, a little an old brush that i'm just picking up some water with and you just place the water on the back of the decal right this is just honestly my mind blew how did i not know about this i was just i was like what <laughs> it's so crazy so literally you just put enough to kind of saturate the decal not masses you don't want you don't need masses just so that it's like moist ah, stop saying that word <laughs> i actually don't mind that word it doesn't bother me but i know it bothers some people um yes so just you just need to wait for it as well and look look how quickly that came off it just slides off so the back end slid off and now we've got our image on our stamper and we can use the stamper to place the image on the nail wherever we want it um i am gonna have to change my stamper because this one's it's pretty it's got hollow in it but it made it a little bit awkward for me to see where i was putting the the decal um you'll notice i've it's slightly to the right i would have rathered it a little bit more central and I didn't clean it off before I used it. Um, if you run a lint-free, you know you get those lint rollers. Um, if you run that, one of those over your stamper, it will get off like any bits. Um, I should have done that because I, I had a bit of, I had a couple of fluffy bits on my nail after I'd done that. Um, so yeah. Anyway, it's a brilliant way to put decals on. I was like, what? Mind blown. So I've put some velvet matte top coat over my nail and voila but we are going to come back to that one we are coming back to that one so it's not quite finished yet then i'm doing five nails by the way oh my goodness some of you are going to be happy about that sometimes i well generally i only do four nails but every now and then i shock people and <laughs> i do a fifth nail so this one is going to be an ombre actually these colors ombre together really nicely so i've got all the way up at the top group at the bottom it doesn't which way doesn't matter which way around you do it and then i like to use my madame glam actually do do an ombre brush but i just seem to really like my cheap little born pretty ombre brush i love it i've had it since like i can remember and it's always done me I, i'm just kind of used to it you know you kind of get used to particular tools and stuff well this is yeah i love i love this one so much and um, i'm just going to use my cleanup brush because some of the color and ended, build, ended building up on the side of the tip underneath so i've just i've just got like the excess from underneath off you don't need to put too much on you don't need to make this too thick if anything you kind of want to make it a little bit thinner you don't you don't need a massive coat of color here so again i'm going in with the blue at the bottom and then i'm gonna work my ombre brush through the color 
And what was I going to say? Yeah, so the first coat you don't have to make too perfect, but try and get it as neat as possible. And then this, this second coat, I, I actually worked at this a little bit more because this is going to be the final coat that we do. So I wanted to make sure that that blend was as good as I could get. I always, I always struggle a little bit with ombres. But I actually, I actually really like doing an ombre. Can you see we the colours are now blending nicely? If you find that you get a bit of build up on your brush, just wipe it off between a bit of kitchen kitchen towel or kitchen paper, whatever you want to call it, um, and then start your blend again. There we go. So I am really happy with that. So that's going to go in the lamp to cure for thirty seconds, and then I'm going to use Nail Sugar's Opal Flakes. Oh my goodness, I love these so much. So I'm using just it's like an eyeshadow brush, I think. It's a makeup brush anyway of some sort. I don't do makeup, so I don't know. And I'm just patting and then brushing those opal flakes into the tacky layer of gel polish. I'm just making sure I've got off as much excess as I can. And then you wait. When this is top coated, it looks completely different. We're going to use... This is going to be shiny. So we're using Madame Glam's non-white top coat. I'm really running low on my top coats um, from Madame Glam. So I'm kind of... This is sort of the dregs in the bottle. <laughs> Look how amazing the opal flakes look though. Over the top of that colour. I absolutely love that. I just think the colours go really well with the flakes and it just, oh, I love it. I've got no other words. Okay, so that's gone in the lamp for 30 seconds and that is nail number two. So for, this, for the third nail, <clears throat> I've got a little bit of a tickle in my throat. I'm going to use one of these dream catchers, the big ones in the corner. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I've cut the image out, placed it on my stamper. I've used a little bit too much water for this one. But you can see that back in so soaks up the water. And then the decal will just slide off. I don't know what happened there, but I had to go. I, I stopped filming for some reason. So that the backing just slides off. And then we have got our image on our stamper. Where have I gone? Here she is. She's back. And then I'm just going to stamp this where I want it. If I can see through the stamper. Because of all the little hollow glitter in the jelly. I don't know what it's called. There we go. I was pretty pleased with that. I was like, yes awesome stuff maybe i would have put it a little bit lower down but it doesn't matter it's done okay so then this one again i'm going to go over with the velvet matte top coat again i'm trying to get out as much of the bottle as i can i need it to oh i'm so running out so quick i hate it i, I should just buy myself some but i'm tight <laughs> there we are. that's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds and then on the last two nails, I couldn't decide. I was going to do, honestly, I was going to do four nails. And then I thought, do you know what? Blue and pink. I couldn't decide between the blue and the pink. So I thought, let's just do a blue and a pink. So we've got groupy on the end. All the way up is going on the next one. And this is the first coat. We're going to do two coats as normal. There we go. That's going to go in the lamp. And then this is our second coat. And then because we have got two, two matte nails. And then it, we've got that shiny one. I thought these end two colours could be shiny as well. I thought that would help the matte nails stick out a bit more. Does that make sense? I think it does. So those are going to go in the lamp. And then this, um, this is the no wipe top coat. Again, look, I've got very little left in my bottle. Don't, don't you just love a new, like a fresh bottle of top coat? It's like a, a fresh bottle of gel polish, a fresh bottle of anything gel polish wise. It's, oh, I love it so much. Okay, so those are going to go in the lamp. And then I thought we could use some crystals so 
I dug out Preciosa Light Rose. These are in like mixed sizes. And I've also got Preciosa Light Sapphire. So I decided to add the crystals to both nails. But this one, I only wanted a few coming off the bottom. I actually done four dobs of glue. But the crystals were a little bit bigger than I thought. So we only ended up putting three on. And the light sapphire and the light rose crystals went really nice. Again with the colours of the gel polish. And also the colours from the decals. So I'm going to leave that like that. And pop that in the lamp. The I'm using Nelkami's Crystal Totalis Gem Glue. And it is a 60 second cure. So that nail I would have put in the lamp for 60 seconds obviously. And then this nail I'm going to do a crystal cuff. So I'm putting crystals along the top. I'm kind of out. I do go out of shot a little bit. I'm really sorry. I'm terrible at that. So I'm kind of alternating the colours at the top of the crystals. And as I tape around, they're going to get a little bit smaller. And then off camera, I do do like a, a bit of a crystal, not a smile line, but like a crystal free edge as well. Just to sort of, almost not encapsulate, but to sort of almost like surround that decal. I, I don't actually show it. There we go. So those are the crystals. And then, well, not all of them, because I do them, I do the others off, off. I'm not filming the other bit. Um, I don't, I'm not quite sure why I didn't. But these little caviar beads are going to go between the crystals. They're going to go in the little gaps. I did need to add some gem glue. Because some gaps I couldn't put the caviar beads in. Because there wasn't any, any glue. When there's excess glue I like to fill it up with a caviar bead. Because it stops the... If you do want to put a caviar bead, it stops the set looking bulky. So that was me putting the, the... There we go, look. And then I'm going to do that on the bottom. But can you see I've made a bit of a... Yeah. You know what I mean. Anyway, right, the crystals are from Crystal Parade. You can get 5% off using my code NAT5. If you want to purchase the decals from Nail Sugar, I have a discount code NATMUG10. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And I will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video. I love this set, by the way. Oh! Okay, love you all. See you tomorrow.